the super series of graphics cards are they actually going to be worth it i'm going to be really honest right now and i'm not going to waste any of your time no but if you actually want to know why i'm saying that the super version of these cards are not worth it then you can stick around for the video but if you just wanted a yes or no no point blank fact not an opinion it's an actual fact that is coming out of my mouth right now no factual statement i don't care if you're an nvidia fanboy or if you're an amd fanboy because it is something that we are going to be speaking about throughout the rest of this video but with two t's it's a fact so forget where i was going there before we get to the leak, one of the most understand what the PCIe ID respiratory is and how it works. The website is maintained by a group of individuals who submit entries. In the case, T4C Fantasy, a tech power up GPU database maintainer, holds access to early GPU BIOS and GPU Z validations. This source is proven to be noteworthy, though these entries may not always represent the final SQ SKU. Nevertheless, considering circulating rumors about a potential RTX 4080 Super, candidate with an 8103 GPU, such an entry should certainly not be dismissed. The development indicates that the device PCI ID TU2703 is now being suggested as the RTX 4080 Super. Furthermore, the absence of 8100, so we're going out, we're just going to come down here. NVIDIA 8102, 8103 IDs. So there's all the IDs. You can go ahead and look at them, but I'm going to keep it real with you. I don't really know what those are. So you guys can go ahead and inform me of what all of this is because I don't get it. So of course, this entry does not prove anything at this stage. However, it seems that Copite seven Kimi rumors about 8103 being considered for the RTX 4080 Super more than the 8102 are reflected in new leaks. Our sources confirm that Nvidia did not provide any full specs on the RTX 4080 Super series of the board partners everything that we see at this point is based on rumors and nvidia's insiders info that should change quick report of all this stuff so anyways let's go ahead and move on over here to this one because we do have quite a few articles that we're going to be going over here we got one two three four five six so we got six other articles so we got nvidia rtx 40 super gets its first coup de core spec rumors right here copite 7 kimi the man that's always like talking about all this stuff and this is why I have this article up. I love how video cards does that. They make it super easy for brain dead morons such as myself to have a really hard time focusing to understand. And I'm guessing that any other person watching this that also has ADHD and needs to read the same sentence like 700 times in order to remember the sentence that they just barely read. You guys don't even understand. Like what I read throughout my videos, I literally have like 7 million other things going through my mind and have no idea what I'm reading until I finally visually see an image. And that is why I like video cards. So, and that's why I'm so good at getting off topic. <laughs> because, because I can't, I really do. I, 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 every time I read this, this stuff, I literally have no idea what I'm saying because I have a million other things going through my mind. So the supers and that's why i love building computers is because like it's like you have to do it one way and if you don't do it one way you're screwed with a few exceptions there are a few like lee and lee k you flip the motherboard and all that kind of stuff i get it but i'm just saying bro so anyways right here there you go cool of course 4080 super so we got 9728 and you guys can read this if you want, but I'm not going to because I don't want to waste your time. And I'm sure you don't want me to waste your time. So new big news. We got three news. So we got 10,000 compared to 97. Hello. Anybody else hear those crickets? So we got 4070 Ti Super 84 from 76. Right. Nice. Super cool. Epic. And then we got 4070 Super 58, 71. So now we're going to come over here. Boom. Doesn't that suck? No gigabyte. Rip. Sucks, right? I know. Agree. So apparently RAM is a big, a big issue in 2023. We're, we're, that's like RAM is apparently the new PS5 at this point. So 22.4 gigabytes per second. I'm guessing it's going to be the same since it's literally the same amount. And then we got memory bandwidth. Again, pretty sure it's going to be the same. Could be incorrect about that. But we are talking about NVIDIA right now. 
they're not at the level of Sony. They're not like, they're not making it super obvious that they're just like, I mean, they kind of are making it obvious that they're, they're trying to like make a quick buck. <laughs> Dude. So anyways, I'm, I'm going to, okay. I don't even remember. I was going to go. Oh, so, so what I was going to say here, dude, is we're, we're, so this card right here, right? We're, we're I'm just going to throw a number out there. I'm not, I'm not sure. Hold up. This one right here. Five. Let's just, I don't know the exact price. So we're going to say 500 bucks. This right here, this, uh, this 1000 increase, this one's 500 bucks. This one's going to be 750 or in other words, not worth it. So let's go over here. We got over here. Intel is preparing Raptor Lake HX refresh and is now being tested. So this is for the mobile CPUs. Yes, fully aware the 14700 is already out. Made video comparing every single one of those. Just probably go check that out because my friends, look dude, I get it, okay? The 14900 is not worth it. No, it's definitely not, okay? I get that. But the mid-range CPUs for 14th generation Intel are worth it i do not care what you say so because that is a fact as somebody that literally builds computers for a living and actually uses them in real life circumstances and is building three computers on a daily basis okay it is a fact that they are good cpus all right so unless you are building computers and have used every single one of them you do not deserve to leave an opinion based off of what you have read on the internet <laughs> so so we got uh so we're gonna come down here again this is why i love this website so we got um a 14900 hx 14750 hx and 14650 hx so we got cores threads 24 cores 32 threads pretty sweet Keep in mind, this is this is mobile, so yes. Um, and we got the hold up, P cores. Okay, so we got P cores eight, and we got E cores sixteen, and then we got GPU cores thirty two. And then it's probably going to go up to six gigahertz, just like the because mobile CPUs have kind of been at least just based off of like what we've seen over the past couple of years. They've been moving like closer and closer to like desktop territory and same thing goes for gpus like just like with the 40 series graphics cards from nvidia as an example the, the 40 series laptops are like they're pretty close to desktop territory are they desktop no they're not but they're pretty close to it in comparison to like the 30 series the 20 series you know 1080 series or whatever 10 series you want to get nine what do you what do we call the 10 series 10 series 1000 series what do we call that ter like the 1080 and all that stuff you boys like not good enough or he just he likes to like actually physically do stuff so anyways back to mobile cpus there you go there's the specs for this um the whatever here right, right here we got the gpu score general score and then the filter score and then down here we got all this stuff not really sure why they wouldn't have put this here but it's right here so there you go Anyways, let's come over here. AMD Ryzen 8040U Mobile and Desktop Ryzen 7000G Zen 4 CPU Series Spotted. That is a long title that made no sense reading, but it probably made no sense reading because again, back to what I said before, this right here, there's no way I'm ever gonna be able to understand that. Do you see this right here? This is like, this is why I don't like using other websites other than video cards here you go all this stuff i'm not going to remember what i end up reading so and i'm sure i'm sure most of you just want to see the numbers too either way you know what i mean it's on video cards website so anyways here's the numbers you guys see these numbers right here i know you guys see them so what we're gonna do now that you saw those numbers we're gonna scroll down here you're gonna look at all these numbers it's nothing like super super special because of that guess what my friends and move on to the next article which is about the radeon rx 7900 gre now being available in the european diy market and there's no gaming pc purchase which is necessary so i'm going to be honest here i actually built a 7900 pc a few days ago and my friends i can confirm that amd graphics cards are actually worth it now so and I'm, and I mean this in a content creator manner. 
that was not intended to be disrespectful to the gamers watching this video but it is a fact not an opinion that amd graphics cards have needed to uh move up the the ladder so to speak when it comes down to video editors when it comes down to obs when it comes down to cinema 4d when it comes down to blender when it comes down to all of these like 3d applications photoshop all the adobe cloud programs amd has needed a pretty good amount of work when it comes to that territory okay they've like moved halfway up the ladder <laughs> so uh so uh, i'm just dude and it's so hard it sucks man it's like so like okay so i just i got I promise i'm not gonna take long here and we will get back to this article okay i need to say something what's happening with sony right now and playstation over this like four year period and then sony and it's they're just making it very very clear now that they're 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 taking advantage of people and they're increasing their prices an unstupidly godly amount the consoles are still having like if you defend companies and you do not admit the the terror you do not talk about the territory that needs to be improved upon you see this territory that needs to be improved upon never gets fixed because people don't talk about it so when people are honest and they talk about it it may hurt some of the feelings of people that just love AMD so much. And they're just like, I love AMD. You're, you're, you're literally uh, uh, a thing that I see on the internet that posts photos. And it's a little brick that I put in a computer, but I just genuinely love you. Like I have feelings for you. So when people like, like talk about you being so mean and how, how you have issues and it just hurts my feelings because because i don't want the other company that has things on the internet that people buy nvidia i don't want i don't want people to like nvidia more than than the company that i like amd and my feelings just get so hurt when when people make make my little product not look good just saying bro just saying either way that's really all i want to say here we're gonna go down to the territory of the uh reason i like this website and um yeah you guys know i'm right too you know i'm right i'm just being real with you <laughs> so anyways there's the numbers right here i still i'm just i really do i i as a creator but at the same time the adobe benchmark that we did with the 7900 it was pretty pretty good so i'm not gonna like complain too much about the pricing here but i'm guessing you guys can make up your own mind whether or not it's actually going to be worth it or no <laughs> so what do you guys think about all this stuff rtx 40 super series hashtag not worth it in the comment section below quick cash grab so yeah I, I apologize if i hurt your feelings about talking negatively about your your favorite company nvidia and then 14 generate I'm, I'm gonna be honest dude like Intel's been picking up. They've been doing a good job, okay? For for They're such a big company that it's hard to say it without it sounding awkward. But their graphics cards, they're, they at least they're like releasing drivers on a pretty consistent basis to like improve them. I wouldn't buy an Intel graphics card yet by any means like, but they have like it's cool to have another competitor. That's all I'm going to say. So then the, the mobile CPUs, um, I don't know, dude, I think that's pretty cool for, for mobile stuff to like start being in the desktop territory, but overall boys and girls, let me know what you think. Peace.